just thought I'd do a quick video to um, explain how I fitted LED lights into my camper van that are actually linked to the courtesy light. So when you unlock the car, the internal blue lights come on and then when you lock it again they go off again. And it's actually fitted into the actual main courtesy switch here. So you can have them on all the time or you can just switch them on so when the doors open they will come on. And of course you can switch them off if you don't want them on. I run a cable into here where the main courtesy light is. So obviously this already has a fuse in it to the main system. And then the cables come from this along the headlining and down the side underneath the work table, um, the counter there's a strip light there. It also branches off and goes behind the cupboards at the top, so I've got a down light there, and then comes back out at the back of the cupboards to go across the wardrobe. In here I've changed this light for a blue LED light as well, which obviously drops the voltage. But this is all fused as a standard item, so I haven't had to update the fuse or increase the fuse capacity um, to take on these additional lights. But on a night it looks really good, so you come to your camper van, press the button and the all inside of your camper van lights up blue. This is obviously internal courtesy light, and if you just clip a screwdriver under here, this cover unclips. And you, on eBay you can buy an adapter that fits into the holdings for the original bulb and allows you to put the LED light in there. And all I've done from there is take the positive and negative lines off that actual connector, soldered a cable in which runs behind the headliner into the far side and goes down to a connector further down in the camper van down this side, um, which have linked to the other three strips of LED lighting. As you can see here, the lighting strip is literally just stuck on underneath the head the edge of the uh, housing for the cupboards. So there's a little lip that overhangs there and I've just uh, took the sticky back plastic off and stuck it on there. And they've been on for about a couple of years now so the adhesive on those stickers must be quite good. There is another one under the back of the counter here um, which is obviously hidden out the way but you can see it drops a blue light down the curtains and along the window. And the third one I have in the back is down here which is just underneath the work counter, the work top, and that's stuck on exactly the same. And if you look carefully here, you can see there's a connector there where it's actually soldered in to the cables I've fastened the LEDs to, which trace down to the back of the chair, up underneath the carpeting, underneath the headlining, and back round into the connector of the courtesy light. This is what the actual LED strip looks like. These little squares on there are the LEDs, these are the, the actual light units. And if you notice on these strips there's two copper connectors every couple of inches down the line. And those copper connectors are where you can connect the cables. So if you have a piece of this you can cut it off at that relevant length that you need. And if you just scrape away quite easily to come off. The rubber coating off those two connectors, like so. This is where you can solder your wires on. You only need thin cables, it's not high voltage. It doesn't take a lot of power whatsoever. It is polarity conscious and what I mean by that is the negative and the positive need to be the right way around. And some of this stripping does have marks on it to show you which way, but the easiest thing to do is just test it. It will only work when they are the right way around and you can't damage it if they're the wrong way around. So once you know they're the right way around for the positive and negative, then you can solder them on. Choose which length you want it to be. The other end of this, it doesn't matter where you cut it, it doesn't have to be at one of the junctions. And then you just simply peel off the backing and it's self-adhesive. It's relatively cheap. Um, the cabling is very cheap to put in. Uh, as I say, it doesn't need a lot of voltage. And I think a full roll of this, this is probably what's left from actually doing my camper van and I think I spent about £10 at some camper van show for a reel of this in blue. And I'm, as I mentioned before you can get it in different colours and you can get flashing lights and all sorts with it. But it's a really easy low voltage way of adding some additional lights to your camper van. Even if you don't want to connect them directly to your 
Ketacer like I have done, as long as you put a fuse in line somewhere to make sure that if the cabling or these get shorted out you don't um, cause any damage.